say was uh, the one cool thing about all the lineup changes and everything. I, I don't know if a lot of people understand is uh, even since uh, like created chaos, anyone that's ever come into the band has been uh, like a, a close friend or a local friend. It's uh, that's what I always thought was cool. Like Steve Peck and even Sean Koshik, who are on Funeral God, were good friends of ours. Um, the first band I was ever in was with Steve Peck and you know Sean for a long time. And obviously, you know, we have Marty, you know, who I've known, I've known since before I was in a band. And, uh, and Jeff, who was part of a lot of the local band things going on at the time in our town. Uh, the, the one thing I've always been happy with is that this band has never just went out and said, like, we're having an open audition for somebody. It's, uh, it's always been someone from where we live. And it's always been someone that we've been friends with, more of, like, you know, respected over the years. So. Even though there's been a lot of changes, it's, it's been really cool where it's always been friends, and personal friends, and people from the area, where it's not just like some person we picked up off the streets to say, hey, you know, like, um, we're having a drumming audition in the one. It's just, you know, you know, you won. And even when we you lose, actually. You lose. And even when we play in our area now, like, all those old members come out, like yeah. Stephen Peck and Sean yeah. Koshek. And, and, and Jesse. And we actually saw Jesse about, like, a week and a half ago, Jesse Smith came yep. out, and, uh, for those that might not want to hear it, we're actually good friends with them yep. still. <laughs> Everything's cool. And uh, he's doing his own thing and he's happy. And he has, he's had a lot of crazy times in his life. And uh, But at the same time, he's still a good friend of ours. He still comes out whenever we're in the area to support us. And we still hang out and we're friends and have a good time. Yeah. And uh, he's actually, uh, one of the awesomest things is the last show, he was just really happy. He's like, I'm really happy where the band's at. Uh, you guys are the best you've been in a long time support you and I'm glad that you have going on what's going on now. And uh, he even offered to be our drum tech. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he offered to be my drum tech. <laughs> is this the final Zayo lineup? Is this like yes, I I refer to all, all of those questions get directed to Scott <laughs> because he says it every time. So uh, honestly, if anybody leaves I quit. So no it's no matter what, if the there's is. nobody left from the pool of yeah. friends. Yeah. 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 We've yeah. we yeah. exhausted our 20 friends. <laughs> we have to have, we have, to have <laughs> a robot in the band. <laughs> the, honestly, if I, for the definite record, if anybody leaves, the band's done. I think we've overstayed our welcome, <laughs> like with member changes. <laughs> I'm member number 20 for the record. Yeah. yeah. You can call him Jeff 20 if you want to question. Up to you. Jeff 2006. <laughs> oh, no more questions. Oh, here we go. Uh, this kind of goes back to the uh, lineup question. Uh, what's the what's going on with Russ right now? Is he still part of the band or what's happening with him? No, he's he, he's he's done. He quit. He, he his knee is completely blown out. He wouldn't really be able to play with us. He got married, um, and he. He had like a little meeting with all of us and said that he wasn't feeling it anymore. And we were really happy to see that he finally made a decision of what he wanted to do. Because he's, a lot of people kind of get lost on it. I mean, he's not the rule, he's more the exception. I mean, he was on Blood and Fire and, to, and Liberati, but right after Liberati quit, he, right after it was done, he quit. He was out of the band for a good, good bit, four or five years. Yeah. So uh, he, He's always been kind of like this little guy that kind of hangs out and what, and then he's like trying to like I like it I don't know I like it yet so it's kind of I'm finally glad that he's like you know what I I'm gonna step it out and I'm gonna go home and do my thing and we're still great friends with him too I talk to him honestly every day he calls me I wish he'd stop during during the time, <laughs> during, during during the time that he wasn't in Zayo he actually ended up going to film school in Florida. And um, right now, he has a job with a wedding company in, in our town, Greensburg, and he goes out and films and edits wedding reception videos. And um, he's doing really, really well with that, actually. He's doing a good bit of cash, but it's, it's kind of cool because it's something that allows him to just sit and not, you know, do crazy stuff with his knees and just have his computer and that kind of stuff. And um, he seems content, you know, and that's, that's kind of... That's where we're at, you know. We're we're content, and he's content, and that's kind of what it's all about, you know. Because he's he's first our friend, and then a bandmate, you know. So it's as long as he is content and happy, then we're content and happy. He's one of my best friends ever. Yeah, same here, man. I pretty much when I joined Zayo, I said, uh, "You don't let Russ play until <laughs> I quit." And obviously, he played. And uh, 
Yeah, see, I said the same thing for my first band, too. The guy said, no, we don't want Russ. And I said, okay, I'll join anyway. So. He's, a, he's a strange guy. He's a very, uh, very uh, intricately strange person. But he's a beautiful person. People that don't know. Yeah. He's just uh, he's trying to find his peace in life. Yeah. And uh, we just support that. If it's, you know, even if it doesn't have anything to do with us. I have a question. Uh, my name is Amanda. I'm with the Toll Booth. Um, going back to um, what you guys were saying about being a Christian band or not being a Christian band, um, just personally with each one of you, how heavy does that really like weigh on your hearts? Is it that big of a deal or is it not that big of a deal? And how, how does that really weigh like on your career as musicians? Or musicians I'm sorry. Well, the thing for me is I think it's situational. Um, the, the word Christian to me is situational in and of itself. Um, you know, I, Christianity means different things to different people, you know, and um, like I always use the analogy that if, if everyone in this tent, if you ask them to draw a picture of, of what heaven looks like or what, you know, what their own personal faith lets them believe heaven will look like, every single one would be different, you know, and um, so... It's, it's kind of like what Dan said, you know, it, it goes along with that to where what, you know, not only what is a Christian band, but what is, what is a Christian, you know. Um, you know, Dan and I have a lot of, of Christian schooling under our belts um, at, at the college level, and we, basically what I learned, that, you know, I, I kind of came up with this thing, uh, what I learned in college is that what I believe or what anyone else believes is not as important as why they believe it. Um, that's kind of, you know, four years of college and the thousands of dollars spent, that's pretty much what I got out of it. Um, you know, and, and I think that that's kind of something that, that Zaya almost kind of stands for, you know, in, um, you know, what, what version of Christianity each of us holds, you know, what our view of God is, what, you know, what our view of forgiveness is. It, it's basically the, the why, you know, why do you believe that? I went to college with a bunch of people that went to the college that they went to because that's where mommy and daddy wanted them to go to, and it, you know what I mean? It was just like the, you know, it was, it was the mill, it was the factory, you know, and my whole thing is you just, you know, and, and Zayo's stance is pretty much, you know, figure it out, you know, figure it out for yourself, and then, you know, if you choose to listen to a band like Zayo, or if you choose to listen to any of the other bands that are here, that, that's awesome, but Zayo's stance was never to, you know, go out and, okay, you're, you know, you're going to listen to Zayo, we're a Christian band, you're going to listen to exclusively this, you're not going to listen to anything that doesn't have a Christian tag associated with it, you know, on our, on our new CD, we have a a special edition that came with a, a DVD of us making it, and it's pretty much just us being idiots, you know, and, uh, you know, we, uh, we mess up, you know, um, there are times when I curse like a sailor, and I, you know, I ask forgiveness for that all the time, it's, it's just something that, you know, it just, it, it happens, and it, it happened on that DVD, it was just us being us, you know, we were watching a football game, you know. And because of that, yeah, I mean, it's, we take our Steelers pretty seriously, yeah. And, um, you know, it's just one of those things. But because of the content of that DVD, most of the Christian music distributors chose not to carry our CD. And um, Actually, that, this is, uh, I guess, one of our points on Christian music is, for instance, we were uh, the new CD was supposed to be in Christian bookstores. Um, and on our MySpace account, we claim that we're not necessarily a Christian band. Not not a Christian band. And there are Christians in the band. And, uh, you know, the, the stores of Majesty and that called back and said, if we would change our stands on MySpace, they would allow our CDs to be in the bookstores. Right. And that, that to me, was just... It's just... That's I mean, just... Uh, right? just yeah, that was like, a, pretty if much you just... lie and, and put up there, you're a Christian, we'll put you in the bookstores, but is that... In the end, is that that to us sums up the entire industry for us? You know what I mean? Unfortunately, it's still a business and it's still money and it's still you know. I mean, even if you look at this festival, there are hundreds of thousands of dollars of work and 